not a game, it's a rich thing. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how I installed this quick and easy V-part wig that I received from Monica Nicole Hair. So as you guys see, it is a size small. This is their kinky curly V-part wig. So we're going to go ahead and get into the installation, okay? So the first thing that I went ahead and did is parted my hair down the middle. I wanted to see what it was like for me to do a middle part. Um, I'll probably do another tutorial on how I did my side part, but for now we're just going to do a middle part. So I took my comb, took a rat tail comb. You can use a comb of your preference, whichever works best for you. Um, but in my case, I used a rat tail comb just to get my part as clean and crisp as possible. Um, so once I did that, I went ahead and I pretty much braided, or I don't know, did I twist? Yeah, I just did like a slight twist to my hair to kind of section off um, the part that I will be using to blend in. So after that, I just went ahead and I just braided my hair in these three big dookie braids because I'm like, it's a wig, it's curly. My foundation doesn't have to be super flat because the wig is super curly. So I'm going to go ahead and continue braiding and once I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and meet up with you guys later. Okay, so now that I'm finished, I'm going to take two bobby pins and I'm just going to use them to pin my braids like so. Being that this is a V-part wig, I will not be wearing a cap, so this is how I will keep my braids secure. So, as we break down in a little breakout session, we're going to go ahead and get into the clip-ins. So, it was super easy. There were two clip-ins on both sides at the top. I went ahead and I clipped in my left side and now I'm going to go ahead and move towards my right side. Um, it was a little tricky at first because I couldn't see, <laughs> but I promise you installing a clip-on wig is super easy and it's super simple. Like It really doesn't take much. You literally just braid your hair down or put it in a ponytail and you just clip it like so. And there were a few more clips around the perimeter, but this is what it looks like. The tracks were very nice and easy to lay. It was nothing crazy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take the remaining clips and I'm just going to go ahead and clip the remainder of my head. So once I finish that, then we're going to go ahead and get into the products that I'll be using to make the hair look natural. Okay, so now that the hair is nice and secure, I have all the clip-ins clipped, I'm just going to go ahead and section off my hair so that I can go ahead and begin to use the product. So I am using a scrunchie. If you have clips, you're more than welcome to use clips. This didn't have to be like super perfect or anything because I'm literally just adding product to the hair. But because it is a lot of hair, I just wanted to just make sure that I section each part of the hair off like I kind of wanted it to be like as even as possible but you know nothing's perfect so this was perfectly fine so this is what it looks like I'm gonna also split the back of my hair in the products that I'll be using is from the CMOS collection I'm gonna use the leave-in conditioner plus the curl pudding from Maya Organics then I'm use I'm gonna use the curl definer I really really like this a lot and as well as just some ba basic water. So now that I have my products, I went ahead and I wet my hair. I just took a little bit of the spray bottle, I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Um, I wet the hair, as you guys see, you can see the texture a little bit, like wet versus dry. So now I'm gonna just walk through the steps. I'm gonna wet my hair on this side. You wanna make sure that you spray your hair really good. I want to say the method is not that different from when you were actually doing your hair. So you want to, okay, y'all seen that? Because I definitely just got myself in the face. <laughs> um, but you just want to spray the hair from the roots all the way down to the ends. You want to get it as wet as possible. You want to comb it through. That way you get all the kinks out. And then you want to go ahead and apply the products. But as you guys see, it's really no shedding to this hair. 
and I am using a wide tooth comb so it's pretty easy to get all the kinks out so all of my kinks are out as you guys can see and now I am just applying I believe this is the curl definer and then I'm gonna put in the leave-in conditioner and then following that I'm gonna put in the curl pudding um, because I want to make sure that these curls like give everything that I needed to give so I find the raking process just a little bit more easier that way I can spread all the products evenly and then after that I kind of just scrunch the hair so I pretty much did this on all sections of the hair um, just to go ahead and get it back into its natural state so I'm basically just going to repeat these steps for the top parts of my hair and then when I begin to blend in my actual hair with the weave I'll come back and I'll explain that but until then I hope you guys are enjoying the video So I pretty much didn't do anything different that I did to the hair. I followed literally the same products, water, leave-in, curl pudding, curl definer. The only thing I did different with my actual hair was put the mousse on top so that it can pretty much like lock in my pattern and kind of lay, <clears throat> sorry guys, kind of lay my hair and mix it with the wig so that it can look natural as possible. I really just scrunched my hair added products plus the mousse and everything literally came out you guys can see my hair is starting to blend already this is the finished product after i let the hair dry the wig is dry my hair was still a little wet but that was okay because it's hot outside so the hair is going to dry eventually but this is what it looks like it looks very natural literally looks like it's coming out of my scalp i had to dance for y'all real quick because i did that you know um <laughs> But it's super lightweight, super natural, easy to use. Like, I think I'm going to try to style this into a side part um, and just like see, you know, how pretty much how I can style it. But I'm loving the hair. It's giving something to me. I really, really, really enjoy creating this. I cannot wait for you guys to see me in my next video. I love you and stay tuned.